State Fire Marshal for the State of Maine. Um, I appreciate all of you uh, hanging here with us this afternoon. Um, I know it's taken some time, but uh, uh, it, it, there's a reason for it. it it's with a heavy heart that uh, I start this uh, information to you with the announcement that uh, this afternoon at this fire, uh, we lost a uh, firefighter in the firefight. Uh, Captain Joel Barnes of the Berwick Fire Department succumbed to his injuries that were received in fighting this fire. Um, four other uh, firefighters were uh, transported, treated, and have since been released. Obviously, you can see that this was a uh, difficult situation for all of the fire departments that responded to this event. Um, I tip my hat to every single one of them for the work that they put into saving their own, trying to make as much progress as possible, uh, saving any lives of the public who live there, and fortunately uh, for, for the civilians that were involved, uh, everybody is all right. Uh, I do want to make a point that uh, though this is what we do all the time for every one of us in the fire service, when we lose one of our own, it's a difficult time. Um, as far as the details of the event itself and the number of departments that were involved, I'll turn that over to Chief Wilder. Good evening, everyone. Assistant Chief Tim Wilder from the Rochester, New Hampshire Fire Department. I assisted with the incident command of the scene today. Um, in total, we had just over 16 departments representing two different states that arrived today to help out with this fire. Uh, we were dispatched originally, originally around 11 o'clock this morning uh, for a smoke in the building. Upon arrival, the first companies uh, made entry into the building. Uh, subsequently, um, as the fire marshal alluded to, uh, we lost a firefighter today. Um, we. Uh, right now in the process of, as you can see, cleaning up, making sure that the building's secure for the night as the investigation will be continuing um, thenceforth. We <clears throat> went to a fourth alarm today, uh, represented uh, seven communities from Maine, ten from New Hampshire, multiple EMS, uh, ambulances that helped out in transport, uh, uh, ending all the injured that uh, were injured here on site today. Um, we'll be working uh, through the night with the investigation. Uh, with all the partners from the Maine State Fire Marshal's Office, New Hampshire State Fire Marshal's Office, uh, the ATF, Burke Police Department, members of the Burke Fire Department. Uh, on behalf of uh, Chief Plant of the Burke Fire Department, we ask that everyone keeps everyone, all the members, all the people involved here, especially the family of Captain Barnes, uh, in their hearts uh, as the, the coming weeks will be tough for all involved as we move forward. Thank you. Any and all investigations will be carrying on through the night. There's no other information to be released in regards to uh, cause and origin of the fire at this point. Uh, no word of a flashback? No, nothing of, nothing of that sort yet. Uh, a resident had described a situation where the third floor apartment resident threw something on the porch and it erupted into flames. Is uh, that accurate? Uh, any details? I have no none of, none of such any details as, as the, the origin of cause of this fire at this time. Can you tell us anything about Captain Barnes? I mean, is he one of the two that was trapped? Uh, early on here? Uh, the early on, by the time I got here, it happened just in the middle of the May Day. Uh, the May Day was declared uh, only minutes into the, the first arriving companies that arrived here. Um, so um, other than the outcome of the fire right now, we have no other details as to what happened inside. Do you know where Lieutenant Barnes was located in the building when he, became, when he was distressed? Or? At this time, the investigation is ongoing, so that, that information won't be released. Do you know? Uh, uh, I've met uh, Captain Barnes before, yes. Yep. Can you tell us something about him, or is there anybody who could? Like anyone in the fire service, the hearts into it. This is what they do. This is probably the worst <laughs> thing we can ever do or go through in, in our careers. Something certainly none of us want to do. But moving forward, we'll handle it professionally and with the courtesy of the family and friends of mine. Thanks, guys. Thank you. 